Hey, what's up guys? JD, but I'm here back with you for another WWE 2K17 Best and Worst Community Creations here this week. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and like the Facebook page, where both links are down below. And of course, tell your friends and family and come and join the JD Venomation on YouTube. And before we begin here tomorrow night, here on my channel live stream here of WCW Reborn Thursday Nitro. And if you did miss Starcade this past Sunday, you missed a hell of a pay-per-view. AJ Styles is the first WCW Reborn World Heavyweight Champion. And Bray Wyatt is the first ever WCW Reborn. United States Champion, so quite a show up for tomorrow, but don't want to waste any more time on that, you guys know about that, don't want to, uh, you know, bore you guys to death about that, but we are here today on the top three best and worst community creations here this week, and starting here with number three in our best community creations here is Mortis, yes, Mortis, you guys remember him as Chris Canyon in WCW, but this was his first gimmick uh, well, first major gimmick in uh, WCW. He had an other gimmick prior, but this is his first major gimmick in WCW 1997 when he was being, uh, you know, managed by uh, James Vandenberg or um, I can't think of I can't think of his, of his actual name. James Mitchell. It just came to me. James Mitchell. He was actually managed by. But nevertheless, I love this. You know, this was still like kind of like PG era 1995 WWF type of stuff, but it was still pretty cool. I mean, with the you know with the color green and the skeleton, uh, you know, type of gimmick with the skulls and crossbones and stuff. I thought it was pretty cool. And this actual car itself is faithfully to Mortis, uh, almost almost to the T, except for, with the exception of the actual. Uh, mask is on mask is face paint, but the face paint is resembling of the mask. So I guess you know that kind of you know that's okay I guess. But nevertheless, here they got everything else right. The attire, they got the um, the hair correctly here. Like I said, the only thing is off a little bit is the face. But uh, outside of that, there I mean this is, this is a pretty solid solid creation here. And uh, yeah, Mortis. From WCW back in the day comes in at number three this week. Coming in at number two is Carl Anderson. Yes, Carl Anderson from the club um, comes in at number two here this week, and it's a very solid Carl Anderson. I mean, uh, his face scan is there. They didn't really try to overdo it. Uh, the only thing I would say about this, his head's a little bit. I don't know. This is a, it's just something seems off about his head, but the face is there. Um, but the head is like, I don't know, I don't know if it's like too big, or if it's like too big in the back, or I don't know. It's, it's something, maybe it's just me, but something's just a little bit off on the head. But nevertheless, though, very good. I mean, you got the uh, jacket with the club uh, logo on the back. The tights is there, definitely. Uh, simple creation. It's just a simple creation. They didn't try to do too, too much here with this. And, um, you know, I think they fairly did a, a decent job here with this car here, and um, I saw Luke Gallus as well, I was going to put probably both of them on the list, but um, I don't know, if you guys want me to start doing tag teams as well, um, I will definitely do that, if I can get both cars in there, and uh, get tag teams in there, we will definitely start doing tag teams here on this list, let me know if you guys want to uh, have me start finding tag teams here to uh, choose here, but, but anyway, uh, Carl Anderson does come in at number two here this weekend, come in at number one! as one of our best community creations here this week is the whole fucking show Rob Van Dam and yes RVD comes in at number one this week no job Rob you know I called him no job Rob in TNA cause that's what he did he didn't job in TNA no job Rob he never fucking loses no job Rob that was my own version of the song but you know, hey, maybe maybe I was the only one that didn't think that Robin and them dropped out a lot in TNA. But nevertheless, back to the actual call here. And again, you know, all with all of these creations here, um, with probably the exception of Morris, it was all done very, very simple. 
I know I keep saying the word simple, but that is the best way to explain it. Very simple. Um, with the actual singlet, look at that fucking singlet there. Jesus Christ. Just the, the, the you know, the, um, the, um, the actual, um, spray paint look on his tights with the skull, the RVD in the middle there, the ponytail, the boots, the knee pads, everything about Rob Van Dam. Even the interest prize with Deception Week gets in the ring and he just automatically runs into the ring and, and all of a sudden, you know, two seconds later he's standing up. That's annoying, but, you know, majority of the entrance is, is kind of, uh, you know, it's very, very good, I think, for the most part here. But Rob Van Dam, no job Rob, comes in at number one here this week as our best community creation. That's the best. You guys are, <laughs> you guys, oh my goodness. This top three here for the worst community creations is going to be, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's just get to it. Our top three, <laughs> our top three. The worst me creations here is coming up and coming at number three here is Aria Davari. Look at him. Is this Aria Davari or is this Eddie Kingston? This looks more like Eddie Kingston uh, more than Aria Davari. Who is this? This is not Aria Davari. I can say that right now. This is not Aria Davari. I mean, this is this is Eddie Kingston with Aria Davari's tights on. I mean, I don't fucking know this. I mean, to me, he looks like Eddie Kingston. I mean, if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But he just, he just, I just see Eddie Kingston, but just with the Davari attire on. But look at this. You know, it, this makes you want to slap the hell out of your mother. You know, if, if your mother was in front of you as you're watching this, like, Mom, come here for a second. Come here. What do you want, son or daughter? Just slap the fuck out of her. Because that shit does not make any fucking sense whatsoever. But uh, Arya Davari from the Cruiserweight Classic, uh, I, I think he's a man, I think he's a pretty damn good wrestler here, um, you know, in WWE. They need to utilize him more. Well, he's being utilized with uh, Jack Gallagher right now. But I like him as a wrestler. I don't like this call because it's a piece of fucking shit. And Arya Davari does come in at number three here this week as one of our worst community creations. Coming in at number two is Ivory? Yes, Ivory from... The Attitude Era? Who the fuck is this? This is not Ivory. This is more like Popery. Look at this. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand what they were trying to do here. Okay, first of all, if you look at the left side of her face, she has just a, a random purple blotch on her face. How did they accept this? Like when they were making Ivory, it was like, yeah, was, oh man, it looks just like Ivory. Even that purple blotch. I remember that purple blotch when. When, when she used to wrestle China. What? The, the attire, I mean, well, the attire, I mean, can't really complain about the attire too much. Now, you know, God, man, this, oh, God, I can't even say anything about this. Like, what can you say? What can you say about this? Other than it fucking sucks, it's a piece of shit, and we're great this, you know, needs to be, you know, checked for mental retardation. Holy shit! I don't even know what to say about this. It sucks. It fucking sucks dick. Ivory right, comes in at number two. As our second worst community creation here this week. Oh god. And coming in at number one here this week. My fucking god. Oh god. This may be possibly. It's up there with Jimmy Snuka. I don't know what's worse. It's Loki, Sinchi, or Majin Buu. Because that's who it fucking looks like. Hey guys, look, it's Majin Buu from fucking Dragon Ball Z coming out to the ring right now. This? What is this? What is this? You know, the only reason why you have Loki on the shirt. If you did not have Loki on shirt, I will have you guys guess who this is. I will have you guys literally try to guess who this is. If, if, if they did not have Loki on the tights or the shirt, I will have a try to have you guys guess who it is. Because you can, guys clearly see when he gets into the ring and he does his little fucking bullshit, fucking where the fuck that is in the ring. Uh, the Rick Steiner pose. 
you know, you shows his name then. I will have you guys literally guess. And no one, I repeat, no one will get this shit right. Majin Buu! How about that one? He looks like Majin fucking Buu. I don't understand either, oh, on top of all that, uh, I don't understand either, why, why does his eyes look like that? Like, why does his eyes look like, I don't fucking know, like... Like, like, someone's been beating him up, or this looks like Loki after he got into a fight with, you know, with a few people at a local bar somewhere, and, you know, his eyes got fucked in the process. His head is a fucking alien head. He has a fucking nose that, ugh, this is sizzle. Tattoos just randomly there, just... I don't fucking know, man. Look at the tattoo on, the, on, on his uh, left arm. It looks like someone just scribbled some shit on his arm. Like someone just got some pins. Like, yeah, he has a tattoo right there. Looks good. Looks good. This fucking sucks, man. Let me know right now in the chat or in the uh, comment section here. Which one is worse? Loki or Jimmy Snuka? I would love to fucking know your guys' opinion. If you guys remember Jimmy Snuka... Uh, go back and try to find that video. It's like the third or fourth episode uh, of this series. What is the worst one? Loki or Jimmy Snuka? I don't even fucking know because both are fucking ass. Maybe I'll, I'll you know, I'll add Jimmy Snuka. There you go. There's Jimmy Snuka. See, see how, see how bad Jimmy Snuka looks like? Awful. Pathetic. Trash. Awful. Guys, that is it. I'm done. I am done. I don't, I just don't, really, I just don't understand, I just don't understand how people put this on the fucking internet. But guys, that's it for me, uh, be sure to come out tomorrow for, uh, WCW Reborn Thursday Nitro, that's gonna be a fucking awesome show, you guys don't wanna miss that, uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook page, and of course subscribe to the channel, and we won't miss out on any, any of these videos here, but I'll see you guys later, you guys have a great day, and, uh, yeah, Majin Buu, that's who this guy is. It's not Loki, it's Majin. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out.